Poundsborough is, is a remarkable town. It's a town of 1,000 or 1,100 people. And the film festival is really just part of a much bigger picture. We had started the Film Society here at the uh, hall, and that's sort of every two weeks we show a film. And so we were chatting one day and we said, well, why don't we just think about a film festival? Wouldn't that be kind of neat? We could see how difficult it was for some very, very good films by very, very talented people to ever be seen by anybody. We never saw them, you know, we couldn't get a hold of them. We didn't even know they existed. One of the things that all Canadian filmmakers love are film festivals because it gives an opportunity for wide audiences to see uh, your film. Uh, so you want as many people from many different backgrounds to have an opportunity to see the work that you've done. This is extremely exciting for someone who's never made a film to actually get their film shown in a festival. So for me, it was with a lot of anticipation to what's it going to be like to actually see my film sitting in the audience with a group of people I don't know. Our mandate is always going to be films with a very, very strong connection to Atlantic Canada, i.e. the writer, the director, the actors, the story. And we've always held to that in our whole 12 years. We've never deviated from that. So it's extremely important for fledgling filmmakers, and well, obviously all filmmakers, but maybe especially for someone who's just starting out to help see yourself as a filmmaker because that's your actual work up there on the screen. So it's humbling to see it in all of its glitches, but it's also euphoric to see it there at all. And I think that uh, festivals are really important because especially for an independent filmmaker, uh, I wouldn't have the means to get this film seen. So, so the fact that festivals are interested, uh, the fact that Paris Bro here has been interested, um, it's wonderful to be here, uh, everybody treated me well. They put me up in a sweet, accessible suite at the Gillespie House, so I'm, I'm going to be real happy to check that out. And I've noticed too, um, a stand up, do it, play into smaller towns. Um, the generally are um, more receptive and ge generous audiences um, than than larger towns. Uh, not not across the board or absolutely, but but in general, I think I think um, small town audiences tend to be more appreciative. Yeah, we make movies. Uh, movies are stories, and we we tell stories to share them with people. So being able to attend screenings and being able to share them with audiences and then discuss them is just such a gift, and it's such a wonderful way to cap off years of work. Parsboro is so wonderful. I love it so much. I want to come back. There's so many things I want to do and um, I wish I had planned a longer trip. So yeah, we are just one part of a, of a much bigger piece here in Parsboro. We have the Ship's Company Theatre, live theatre all summer. So that was started, you know, just by a band of people who got together and said, you know, we can do theatre here in this town. Um, we have a Plan Air Arts Festival, um, which is becoming widely known across North America. The whole idea there was to uh, aid in sort of a rural, the rural economy through the arts. So it was a way to kind of uh, spark some life into our town by making it a, a center or a place where artists would be attracted to. So in order to do that, we had to, you know, really sort of kick things up in terms of an artist could see they had a... a a community here, you know, a place where they could find like-minded people. And on top of that, Parsborough is at the center of a UNESCO geopark, which makes it a must-visit place. So I would urge people to look at Parsborough as a destination um, and take in things like the film festival. But if you want to come to the film festival and stay the weekend, you do need to book ahead. Usually these things come to the larger centers and so it's really great to, to bring your work to uh, an audience uh, like Parsboro.